chapter 2. So, if that happened, never seen a movie. And judging by my decisions last time, it's not going to go well. These are dark days, I This is why I'm not sending it to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Eaton's hands now. Still a little sick, guys. I've decided to name you as my sentence, so well. Don't judge me. Are you, Are you willing, willing to risk, risk an alliance, alliance with Brown? Brown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow. Brother Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Ethan. No. I killed Ethan, everyone. I let everyone die. Help me. Hopefully, I don't kill everyone again. just one of those things yeah. where you can't help but let someone die. Whoa! Just me, Beska. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. This stuff is weak compared this to all the a good cleaning. I complain to the owner. Except he's probably dead. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Yeah. It's blood. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. Um, no, I'm not going to talk to you yet. Don't look around. Fragrant. Okay, don't say anything. See how it is. Jeez. Okay, just yeah, I'll take an axe. Damn it. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. place probably used to be nice. Okay, now I'll, I'll talk to you. I'll look at you. I first. know, I know. Woman sellsword, four years fighting by your side and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha, quit staring. Let's get drinking. Yeah, Ale let's get drunk. goes in yellow, oh, comes out yellow. Oh, Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. A man of few words. A 
Another round? Give me one second, guys. I'm just doing something. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Oh my god. How's he doing? <laughs> We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... Remind me again, what's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog... <laughs> Don't care, really. So long as we get our gold. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave I'm masters with bounties on their heads. Yeah. I don't need any more naked fat men in my okay. life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We'll live like lords, princes, kings. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Queen. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. In the north, these not feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. No, we I'm have a, a good thing man. here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To family. I'm sure I'd agree if I'd ever had one. You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Okay, that works. Beske, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again... Tizal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tizal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. Fuck you! He's worth twice that! <laughs> Look at the balls on this one! Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valerian. Oh, and we are done taking orders from oh, whimpering pigs. This is bad. Oh, bloody hell! And we're done with you too. La da di risompasi. 
Don't you be mad. You just made a huge mistake, Tazal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise it's masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Beza. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Bojos minomi shahoso kisikas! Not today, I'm afraid. Get down! All right, who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of the Kill them! Now! No one's more like. Here's one! Come on! She couldn't pass me! I think I failed. Yeah, I failed. I failed. I don't bother my whole la la. She couldn't pass me! To be down! You owe me one. Shit. Oh god. Yes, he's a plate. I think he's a dagger plate. This is for Volantis! Bester! I'm not fast enough. Jesus. Okay, you guys are gonna see how many times I'm gonna fail this. Fuck you, Ash. Cut his arm off. Fazal! Yeah, because you can eat this. Great. Still, you burn your. Ah! Oh! You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. their way we need to go oh god take the gold come on malcolm damn we have to keep moving malcolm stop asher i'm glad i found you my boy it's been Far too long. So what are you doing Asha here? Who was exiled? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Reasons I don't know. Introduction. <clears throat> Back 
the wall. to be Garrett again. Someone. That is scary. You're lying there. Turn up your father. Find out he's dead. That's far Thank enough. You. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. Who have you got this time? Some poor Sir peasant Ryland. dressed up like a I, lord, uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's clothes. The, you did this oh, at Duskendale, oh, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men, and you dare come here claiming uh, to have forest to dead. Leave. Now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <laughs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh, that was a sheep fucker. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. <laughs> Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Oh god. At least one of them is alive. Should not be awake. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. 
Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Oh god. Maybe I shouldn't have drank that milk. Should have left it. See you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Oh, you tell me I don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Roderick, something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. Alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no tears. You're stronger than that. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. The Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. I guess we'll see. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Oh god. It's gonna make me stand him up. Jesus. I know. Oh god. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. 
Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Oh, God. Good. This, this is not good. Something has changed. It's not good. It's Garrett! Castle Black, so this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Oh, that's right. I got herbs, bandages, and necklace. The wall. Recruits Always wanted gate. to see it, but not like this. Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak Who's to the Lord Commander. You? We uh, don't have I'm one right now. Serious man. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. You man was so <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use the stairs. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. <laughs> Why? Huh. It's warm. Anything else here? No. Well, I guess I'll use the stairs. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm just another dead man, come to join the Night's Watch. How very humble. And how did this dead man get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. 
then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forest. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. This guy is seriously messed up. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Cuh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers to always it. seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> He's had a run-in with Walder Frey, didn't And he's he? leaning on a girl. They should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, my lord. Who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. What? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Go on then, my lord. Sorry guys, I'm so quiet because I'm just really concentrated it's on this game. You can't starve I them will out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Hey. Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolish. It doesn't matter what Make you think. Decisions. It's my Quickly. decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. 
It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lord, please! Oh, I'm oh a fool! God. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Sir Roland! Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no bloody army! It's because you have no wits! Silence! I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Royal. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Can we not compromise? One white hill is one too many. Now, there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. 
It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. That's all right. The letter is fine as it is. Good board, Pussy. Another one for Frostfinger. I had to borrow that from Father. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? I wonder who it was. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Forgive my mother. She doesn't see the harm in what she does. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You... I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly Take more her. exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk... If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. What happened? What happened between them two? You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? 
The wall was erected over 8,000 years what? ago to defend the realm. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut sure, up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for... Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? These two were arguing. Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. I don't like that guy. I don't like that other guy either. Here we go. Again. Bulls up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. <sighs> Castle Black. This is home now. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're like. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Bad. Center. Between the eyes. Ah. 
One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. Training seems rougher here than I am, Rath. to sword. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Come on, keep at it. Like old Frosty said, not everyone's cut out for this. I want to try that again. Please, no. God oh, damn it. I failed. It's not I. Too hard to burn. I say it's a check, not the bloody wall. They say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. more than stood. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. 
didn't think so. Now, if there's nothing else you need... Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, grumpkins, and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. I've answered your questions. I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tor. Worry about me, not your vows. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. Place is falling apart. Maybe they need more builders. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Right. I can do this. Want some help? <laughs> yourself, Tuttle. Mr. Chancellor. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. You've had a sword. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... Don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! What the fuck? Hey, look! Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Didn't? And Garrett defended. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, not I... another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me.
Oh god. I wish I mastered that sword fighting. This way. So. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She... Came pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. What's your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I have much bigger problems, Sarah. I need to look out for my family. No. You're right. I'm sure I would want to look after my family, too. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. It... it's not what it looks like. We were just... Just airing the wine? Not the finest Arbor Red. But a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. 
We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? Oh. He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listen. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss? You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. <laughs> lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain you. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. You have no shortage of confidence. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. 
This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates I'm you. I'm trying, no. okay? I'm trying. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do Just, that? There's not much to talk about. We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Thanks for not asking. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! Bukai and Josi Botagon Costotti Daor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter.
Hello. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? Why would someone do this? Jesus, boy. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. Never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Let me handle this, Mother. You're right. I'm sorry. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. It seems we have a lot to discuss. Yes, I suppose we do. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but... I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. 
I don't mean to pry, but I want to know what you're going through. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Nothing to worry about. They're just guests. Guests? The White Hills? It's complicated. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. All things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you, Roderick, but I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Brian belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel. And kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it.
Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that! Snow, I said... know what Ramsey said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roos Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Ooh. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? <coughs> I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? I'm going to kill that man. be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. It was Finn's fault. I think he might be dangerous. We need dangerous men for what's coming. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. He doesn't know me. He's seen a thousand recruits pass through those gates. He knows you better than you think. He said... You fought for the North, with the Foresters. You were there. At the Twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one, could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? We fought as best we could, but it wasn't enough. The Freys cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Walder Frey and Roos Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you. But men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. 
Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. I don't care if they hate me. Let them think what they like. Ignoring them won't be as easy as you think. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I didn't know how I had to walk. I felt the same the first dummy. time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? If you ask me to, I will. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here. Where are you? <gasps> Jesus, what was that? Um, why are you down at night? that where do you oh. think you're going at this time of night I, I was just headed back to my room it's a little late to be out isn't it do you know what this uniform means back to your chambers and I mean now if you don't like it you can take it up with the commander Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope it wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note.
I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Oh god, Nathan, and we've got his name. Roderick! It's you. Isn't it? I'm here, right? Roderick, they said you were gone. Ramsey Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't. Because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. Ryan, you know I'm not a coward. Foresters stand together. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Step. Back. We had a deal. Ryan gets to attend the funeral. And you will keep your distance, or he's going back to High Point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Might get a quick one. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our not lands not. destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. 
our house. My children. They will take everything from us. That must have been hard for you. Losing them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. No matter what, you must do it. Promise me. You must protect them. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett. They all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? My father... He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was so brave, I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life, and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. Now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. ice. From ice.
that's it. That's one with one guy. What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about it. The Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? Okay, 76% of players didn't forge Marjorie's letter. 29? Oh, seriously? Those people who didn't? Okay, whatever. Um. Oh, jeez. More than half lost Roderick's betrothal to Elena. 95% very stubborn for do that for Cutter after he stole the knife Finn you and 97% of players killed Mirror's attacker whoa that's great from eyes, from eyes, yeah, we forced his boy. And I think that's it for this episode. So, let me just check. Yeah, that's it for this episode. We will join you next time with episode three. I hope it's better than the last one. I hope it's better than this one. Okay. So. Good night everybody. <laughs>